Now, the other big story of this week, as you know, is your friend Harvey Weinstein, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. has had a huge slew of really serious allegations mm -hmm. made against him. What was your reaction when you first read those allegations? I, I was shocked and appalled because I've known him through politics, as many Democrats have. He's been uh, he a supporter. A yeah. He's been a funder, and you know, for all of us, for Obama, for me, for people who have run for, uh, you know, for office in the United States. So it was, it was just mm. disgusting, and the stories that have come out uh, are heartbreaking. Uh, and I really commend the women who have been willing to step forward now and tell their stories. But I think it's important that we not just focus on him and whatever consequences flow from uh, the stories about his behavior, but that we recognize this kind of behavior cannot be tolerated anywhere, whether it's in entertainment, politics, well, you know, after all, we have someone admitting to being a sexual assaulter in the Oval Office. There has to be a recognition that we must stand against this kind of uh, you know, action that is so mis sexist and misogynistic. And this depends upon women coming forward and having yeah. the courage to come forward. Right. And yet in your book, the three women brought onto stage mm -hmm. by Trump attacking your husband, and you kind of dismiss them. Was that the right thing to do? Are you sure about that? Well, yes, because that had all been litigated. I mean, that was the subject of a huge, uh, you mm. know, investigation, as you might recall, in the late 90s. And uh, there were conclusions drawn, and that was clearly in the past. Uh, but it is something that has to be taken seriously. As I no. say, for everyone, not just for those in entertainment right now. Absolutely. Nobody wants to blame women for what men do. But nonetheless, powerful women like you also have a duty to call men out. As I did throughout the campaign. Yeah. I, I certainly did. I mean, the, the, the really sad part of the campaign uh, was how uh, this horrific tape, what he said about women in the past, what he said about women during the campaign, uh, was discounted by a lot of voters. Do you think Donald Trump and Harvey Weinstein are deep down the same kind of person? Oh, I'm not a psychologist. I can't draw that conclusion. I think that uh, there are reports, credible reports from women about both that sound uh, quite similar. Given what Donald Trump has said and the way he's behaved, do you think he hates women? I think he has a very narrow view of what a woman should be and is very uh, focused on keeping women in their place. And so the way he treated Angela Merkel, for example, when she came to the Oval Office, where he would not shake her hand, where he st mm. would not look at her, compared with the way he treated Theresa May, whose hand he grabbed. It was a grab, wasn't it? Yes, yeah. yes. I mean, so there's two kind of women, mm. women that I like and I can work with, and women that I'm afraid of or that would challenge me. I mean, that yeah. seems quite, uh, you know, <laughs> sexist, if not misogynistic to me.